Have you ever heard that you learn best if you're taught in a way that fits your learning style? Today's classrooms are often built around using teaching methods that cater to students' learning styles. Your learning style identifies the way that you most effectively absorb information from your environment. Lesson 5, Learning Thinking Styles and Multiple Intelligences. This lesson describes the different learning thinking styles and multiple intelligences. Thinking or learning styles refer to the preferred way an individual processes information, describe a person's typical mode of thinking, remembering or problem solving, and styles are usually considered to bipolar dimensions. First, we have the sensory preferences that has the following types which are 1. Visual learners, 2. Auditory learners, 3. Tactile or kinesthetic learners. Next is the global analytic continuum. Global thinkers uses the right side of the brain while the analytic learners uses the left side of the brain. Lastly is the multiple intelligence that was first described by Howard Gardiner in the Frames of Mind on 1983. These are the following types. Number one is the visual or spatial. Number two, verbal or linguistic. Number three, mathematical or logical. Number four, bodily or kinesthetic. Five, musical. Six, intrapersonal. Seven, interpersonal. Eight, Naturalist and lastly, number nine, existential. Visual learners, it is more on elementary. They can understand what they're reading because of the picture in those books. Next is the auditory learners, more on higher grades. Why? Because they're taking down some important notes from lectures or in the discussion. Next is the tactile or kinesthetic learners. They are more on doing activities to understand clearly the topic or the discussion. Next is the global analytic and analytic verbal. The left brain is the analytic part of brain. For example, when you're solving math problems, the left of your brain is working, while the right brain is the part of creative brain. Like, if you're doing some arts, the right of your brain is working. Multiple intelligence is a theory by psychologist Howard Gardner. It describes the different ways students learn and acquire information. These multiple intelligences range from the use of words, numbers, pictures, and music to the importance of social interactions, introspection, physical movement, and being in tune with nature. Visual spatial intelligence refers to capacity to think in images and pictures, to visualize accurately and abstractly. Verbal linguistic intelligence are well-developed verbal skills and sensitivity to the sounds, meanings, and rhythms of words. Mathematical logical intelligence Ability to think conceptually and abstractly, and capacity to discern logical or numerical patterns. Bodily kinesthetic intelligence. Ability to control one's body movements and to handle objects skillfully. Musical intelligence. Ability to produce and appreciate rhythm, pitch, and timbre. Interpersonal intelligence. Capacity to detect and respond appropriately to the moods, motivations, and desires of others. Intrapersonal intelligence. Capacity to be self-aware and in tune with inner feelings, values, beliefs, and thinking processes. Naturalist intelligence. Ability to recognize and categorize plants, animals, and other objects in nature. Existential intelligence. Sensitivity and capacity to tackle deep questions about human existence, such as the meaning of life, why do we die, and how did we get here? There are many more depending on who you ask, but those are the fundamentals. Depending on how a person is reared, how they're prepared to study, and their capacity to learn. 
However, if a teacher employs the incorrect learning method with the student, the student may believe that they are unable to learn or that they are inferior to the other student in the classroom.